Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Let me fix my microphone. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another episode of your love lives. So if you're new, please do smash that like and share and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings or after you listen. If anything resonates, do be mindful that some of the messages may or may not resonate. So take what fits, leave the rest. And um, this is a Virgo channel. You don't have to be a Virgo sun to listen. You could be Virgo sun, moon rising, or Venus, okay? Personal reading links are below in the description box. You can also follow me on Facebook. There is a address right up above here at the top of this video, or you can go in the description box. Everything there you will need, okay? So, Virgo, <laughs> yesterday's reading, did you meet your gas station person? I don't know. But let's see what love messages are, come out, are coming out here for February for Virgos 2023. What love messages for Virgo? Okay, you've got attraction and new love. Wow. Nice, Virgo. So, yep, definitely a new person will be stirring your romantic feelings in February. Um and attract and i feel like you're not going to be even paying attention to this with attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully so it looks like there you are sniffing the roses not even looking around not even paying attention to your surroundings and attracting a new suitor here okay one more card for virgo let me see one more card for virgo here okay retreats time to disconnect from the world yeah virgo kind of feels to me like in february um you're pulling back and doing you i love it and attracting new love because of this all right let's try and see hmm who this new love is or what the energy is playing out okay page of pentacles very interesting. I feel like you'll be receiving a message from someone in regards to some business ideas or plans, um, something to do with money, finances, or career. There'll be a connection, communication, email, text messages, phone calls. Okay. <laughs> Somebody very muscular. Oh, look. King of Swords is here, Virgo. So could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This person is showing up. Um, they could be a lawyer or someone who works in communications or telecommunications. I feel like this person, um, all business. It looks like strictly business, right? But something happens here. Maybe a spark gets made. Okay. Let's see. You've got the sun, three of wands, and the six of wands. Very nice. Okay. Hmm. Uh, somebody's trying to help you with something in February. Maybe it's your accountant or a tax person um, trying to give you an opportunity or try to get help you get back up on top. Yeah, um, that's a very straightforward message, Virgo. So I don't know if you've done your taxes, you're doing your taxes, or someone works in law, could be a lawyer. Somebody's trying to help you here. Um, but it feels like there's some romantic feelings Okay, it just feels like there's some romantic feelings with somebody new that, um, I, I, so they're just giving this energy, like, like somebody does your taxes or helps you with something, files some papers and sends them out, and you're in a situation of waiting to receive something back. Okay, but there's definitely, yeah, look at this. Virgo, I'll also see you at a crossroad here. Like, you have a decision to make. Okay, let's go into that. Let's see what this decision is in February. Yeah, something to do with money. Um, temperance, Sagittarius energy, Leo here. Also, balancing, something to do with your money. Yeah, you've got like this, you come to some type of crossroad, of which direction to go if you can afford to do something, if you can afford to move forward here. What is the, the best that you can arrive at? This is the question, okay? Is it related to this person? It could be. Tell me more about this King of Swords. So male, female energy, just keep be mindful. Okay, they make some kind of an offer. Oh, Virgo, I just kind of feel like this person comes forward in like a very, kind of very cold, strictly business kind of energy. Okay, notice, I don't know if you noticed, there's no cup, 
energy here but except for temperance where she's holding the two cups and it feels like this is something they just gave me that song you want to be starting something there's something here there's no cups okay it, and it's because it's new and there's a new love there's a new attraction happening here this these feelings of this energy could show up later but you get involved with someone strictly business and something here begins to grow maybe you become okay wow six of cups here's your first cup card that just came out in the reverse so for some of you mm, this decision some of you are still stuck on someone from your past <clears throat> you're still in like kind of you're still kind of stuck in the past uh, in regards to maybe a past relationship okay um I feel like you're being unrealistic, unrealistic about a past relationship. You might be trying to decide, well, maybe it is time to move on and let somebody new come in to your life, which I do feel like somebody's showing up. And yeah, here you go. There's the fool here. So definitely a new beginning, a new start. Two of cups. So there's an energy of like two people connecting and, and meeting. Okay, so I feel like... Virgo, you come to a crossroad too. Like, should you invest? What should you do, right? Somebody new comes in. I feel for a lot of you, you could be having these romantic feelings for someone also, okay? Somebody comes in that you do some work with or something happens and you kind of find yourself attracted to this person. Um, you want to kind of disconnect and go somewhere with this person you might ask them out for coffee or meet somewhere but i feel like something occurs here there's like a little love spark that happens and this might be like the catalyst that kind of helps you move forward or getting past being stuck in the past with somebody else okay so <laughs> But the Six of Cups in the reverse, I don't see you really making any kind of move on anybody here. And I don't really see anybody making a move on you. But I do feel like an attraction develops. I do. All right. So that feels like a singles reading. <laughs> Let's take a look. Um, you know, and yesterday felt like a singles reading as well. So if you are completely single and you have nobody in your life, I would kind of refer back to those. Uh, refer back to this and refer back to um, yesterday's message all right let's get into the overall message for Virgo let's see if there's anything else spirit wants you to know Virgo overall in love all right okay you've got hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive movement persistent working on something here okay you're rebuilding something or somebody wants to rebuild some type of a relationship with you uh, or finish building a house that you both started all right keys on a ring having options and there's a love call okay hmm keys to a house Will you move in with me? Somebody might be asking you if you guys could live together. Or if, if they can move in with you, you can move in with them. There's a decision being made here. So you could have somebody that you're already connecting with and this energy starts playing out. I feel, Virgo, you're going to be getting a love call, perhaps around Valentine's Day, which would be on the 14th. Yep, look at this. Relocation here, Virgo. Um, wish coming true. I feel like there's a relationship that's moving to the next level. Somebody here is really wishing and hoping that you guys could keep moving forward. Maybe that's part of the decision process that you're going to be at. Somebody new, there's an attraction develops, and then you have, but you're still kind of stuck in the past or stuck on someone, or you, maybe you're waiting, you know, um, energetically for something to change with um, another person and here it comes okay here it comes there's a love call coming in someone to tell you that they've been thinking about you and they've been you know they've either they've relocated or they've moved they want you to come live with them or and or vice versa there's a conversation that takes place about this okay all right cards are going everywhere oh yeah okay it could be a leo for some of you um eight of wands yeah there's good news virgo you're going to be getting some good news 
A uh, lot of Cupid's arrows flying through the air, love messages, speedy, very fast. A lot of phone calls, not just one love call. It's like repeat. If you don't answer, they're calling back. Somebody's really trying to get a hold of you in February, um, taking a lot of courage and strength to do this. Not really sure why, but yep, they're coming in to make an offer to you, tell you what their plans are tell you what the idea is you know this definitely feels like an overall you know can we uh, living together um giving a key to a home um buying a home together finish building a house together um working on a relationship rebuilding it making things better okay wow six of cups in the <laughs> yeah this is that person whoever you know, when you started this reading that you're just kind of like stuck in the past. Some of you want somebody from the past back to come with the bloody stump. Others of you are still kind of your energy's there, but it's like, let me just move on. Maybe see if there's anybody else out there. You have a couple options happening here. <laughs> More than one, Virgo. All right. Healing and recovery. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's definitely been praying at night. Praying saying their prayers, meditating, um, trying to manifest, definitely in their prayers. Um, the Four of Swords is always the healing and recovery. Um, it's a period of retreat as well. Um, it's a period of solitude and rest and renewal. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely an energy of somebody showing up here. Um, let me see what this person's feelings are for you, Virgo, because, um, I mean, I, with the Nine of Cups, there is this wish come true energy, hoping material wish coming true as well. Um, good, you know, like abundance, emotional abundance, good health, feeling good. Let me see. You know, when my Five of Pentacles shows up, that's the bloody stump for me. Let me see what else here, Virgo. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh yes, Virgo. Like, there's someone from the past here. Definitely showing up. They're still stuck on you, Virgo. I mean, there's a romantic offer and a brand new opportunity. The gift. It's a gift coming down from above. Like, there's, a, there's another chance here to try to fix this person. Wants another chance to do something right here. Okay, making that love offer. Virgo. And it's not just a it's not just a call that says, "Hey, I'm thinking of you." It's not just a Valentine's Day thing. It's it's not just a checkup. This is like the the purpose of the call is to let you know that they still think of you, to let you know um to express their love. It's a message of love and to start the ball rolling, to start communication again. And so that they can make that offer. Okay, there's the Six of Pentacles. Yep. Giving and exchanging, giving and taking, reciprocity. I feel like definitely, Virgo, what are you? <laughs> okay. Eight of Swords. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like this person was very restricted maybe had some mental breakdown or some type of um, mental restrictions or issues or um, having a hard time seeing things through. Okay, first court card here. So you had the King of Swords with new love and then you've got whoever stuck on you from the past, you could possibly have a water sign. Okay, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be, as I said, it could be female, it could be male. So yeah, this person's very like knee deep in feelings for you. Definitely, um, definitely is in love with you. Definitely um, must have made a mistake. Insecurity perhaps held somebody back from making the, the move that they've wanted to make for the longest time, but just didn't know how, didn't know if you would receive them. Didn't know if you would agree or if you were even interested anymore. But it feels to me like this person is approaching with love. Okay. There's the King of Swords again. And there's the King of Cups. So what the heck? <laughs> Listen, Virgo, looks to me like you're going to have a choice between new love or a past lover. 
Yeah, I feel like that first message ties into this in some way because, you know, you've got whoever it is, whoever's new coming in, um, you've also got at the same time, because when it rains, it pours, you've also got someone from your past making their way in as well, snatching you up, trying to snatch you up. You know, they might pick up on some energy. Maybe they're picking up on energy that, you know, you're moving on. Um or if you are, I mean, maybe you are, or maybe you're not. I'm not sure, but energy is being picked up here. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to go with somebody else, okay? Or lose you to another person. Why? Why is this person, all of a sudden, we have the magician here, Gemini energy. Oh, wow. I can't even believe it. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person's ready to make a commitment happen for sure. Very focused on doing this here. Um, the ghost returns. That's what I'm hearing. If you had a ghost sit ghosting situation, yeah, the ghosting is the ghost returns. Um, Virgo, <laughs> like I can't with this. This person gets some clarity. They get a restored sense that the illusion of the fantasy ends. Yeah, this person uh, really ready to have a new beginning and really do it, do it right this time. Okay, so if you were having a struggle in a relationship in the past, you know, and this person just wasn't coming in with a bloody stump. I mean, it's like really simple. There's no need for hate and there's no need for anything else other than, okay, um, somebody weren't, wasn't able to make it to the table. So, you know, picked up the plate the fork the knife put everything back the seats still there if they're ready to come to eat then they got to show up i mean it's just as simple as that and then if they don't show up you know the invite was on the table if they don't show up then it's okay that's fine i'll you know take the plate out fork knife spoon for the next for somebody else who wants to show up you know um, there's no need to be jaded or bitter or angry it didn't work out so there's a seat for every butt there's a lid for every pot <laughs> virgo but of course now you're gonna have two people showing up at the table here <laughs> maybe you should just take just take all the all the silverware all the plates every let them all sit down at the table together <laughs> just have a good time hey virgo um i don't know what you're gonna do here's the fool there's definitely new beginnings starting here for you definitely a new phase, new developments, uh, a leap of faith, taking a risk here, Virgo. Who are you going to choose? Who are you going? Who's Virgo going to choose? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they gave you the lovers. Well, that's a decision. That's having to make a choice. They're saying go with your lover. Go with the one you love. That's, that's the answer. Go with the person that you love. Okay? For some, it's a Gemini. Go with the one you love. What else What else does Virgo need to know? Go with the one you love. What is that old saying? Is it is it better to be with the one you love or, or the one who loves you? What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Leave a um leave a note there in the chat. What is better? To be with the one you love or the one who loves you? Okay. Yeah. So Virgo, like I said, you're putting stuff out there in your life, you know, waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for that new love, brand new love start to happen, the blessing to come in. Yeah, you're going to get a couple of them here, Virgo. You're going to get a couple of blessings, that's for sure. Okay, yep. And you might have to juggle. You have to weigh your options, Virgo. Who do you want? right and it looks like you know when i was asking spirit brought you the lover so it's like go with the go with the one who loves you and the one you love like you both so if i was going to answer that question i would say we both have to be in love we both have to love each other that's my answer i don't know what your answer is but i don't think that's an, a question maybe that can be answered let me see this past person let me take a look at their their emotions and their feelings for you, Virgo. Past persons, emotions and feelings for Virgo. Oh, gave me a whole bunch of cards. Playfulness. Pay attention to the red flags. 
Okay, you guys had some struggles. You had some struggles. Red flags. Maybe it was like too many, too much fun in games. Let your friends help you. Release your ex. Very soon you will have to make a decision to free yourself. All right, Virgo. So this is going to go two different ways. I do feel like because I was asking how this person feels about you, they might have had somebody else. And that's why things couldn't move forward. They've released that person. They've, they're freeing themselves or just getting ready to make a decision to free themselves from an ex or a person, you know, either they had somebody in their life or the energy of the ex was still a residual and they were comparing everyone they met to their ex and letting this go. I feel like they got a lot of support and friends to help them because there was a lot of red flags with someone they were connected to. Okay, there was a lot of fun and it was playful, but it was all fun and games and it really wasn't anything. I feel like this person kind of got bored or, you know, something. They just, not that they got bored. I hate to say that. It just was very frivolous. A relationship was very frivolous, okay? So I definitely feel like this person is letting go of another person and they're coming back into your life to make things right with you. Okay, what are the messages of love here? Oh my goodness, I'm not taking all these. Messages of love for Virgo. Okay, new love, a new love, a recommitment to love is developing, Virgo. Sheesh, all right, boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now here, Virgo. There's a longing, someone is yearning for you, secretly yearning for you, okay? A lot of passion in this connection. Try something you've never done before. There's an awakening happening, and I feel like this is with this person, and this trying something they've never done before, yeah, this is new. I feel like this person is kind of getting out of their comfort zone and trying to connect with you to rebuild a relationship and do something, you know, out of love with you. I feel like this person is very much in love with you, okay, was not able to do something and, and now they're awakening to this. And meanwhile, Virgo, you've, you've got somebody showing up new. I feel like a lot of you are just like, okay, you're ready to step out and either you get asked out or you see someone new and there's a connection or you ask them out and you're ready to go. You, you know, you got your keys in your hand, you're walking out the door, ready to go meet up with that person and then boom, you get that love call from that person that you had, you know, still kind of the energy of them in the past and you get that call and it's like, you know, I don't know if this person immediately pours out all their emotions, but they do express their love and tell you what's going on with them. And they want you guys to be together. Like, wow. I mean, this is like, this is straight out of a Hallmark movie. <laughs> let's see what their Chinese sign is. Oh my goodness. No, let's look at the physical oracle. I want to see physical features. What physical features are showing up for this person? <laughs> Uh, show us show Virgo okay this person could be very tall very tall oh look who it is oh no that's just a beard they may have a beard could be a tall person with a beard or they just have a beard oh okay somebody has a piercing I feel like that would hurt. I don't think I could ever get a piercing on my lip. I feel like, or maybe it's that kind of lip piercing. <laughs> um, okay, somebody's got a mole right above their lip there. And we have someone with very blonde hair. Very blonde, that's almost platinum bleach white blonde hair. Okay, we've got somebody with very wavy hair. All right, somebody could also be slender, short hair, and tattooed, tattooed. Oh, and a mustache. I must ask you a question. Do you still love me, Virgo? I must ask you, Virgo. Will you move in with me, Virgo? I love you. Virgo, I love you. And I want to be with you forever, Virgo. You are the love of my life, Virgo. Do you like my moustache? Yes, I grew it just for you. 
All right, Virgo. Chinese sign, please. <laughs> Virgo. Who is this person? All right. All right. We're going to take a look. First, let's look at the past. Who is this past person? Their Chinese sign. Virgo and this past person. All right. Year of the Tiger. Year of the Horse. And Year of the Dragon. We have an ox. Uh, rat, rabbit. Year of the Rabbit. Year of the Snake. Okay, Year of the Pig. And a monkey. All right. Let me ask. I want to ask about this new person and see what the new person is. I'm only going to pull three for the new person. Okay. Year of the dog. Year of the dragon. And year of the horse. Okay. Let's keep that very simple. All right. Let's get some names, Virgo. Let's see. Let's get some qualifiers. Anything that you, Spirit, can tell Virgo. Qualifiers about this person. Anything Virgo can know about uh, let's start with the new person showing up qualifiers about the new person okay mm. all right all right their initials the the name starts with the letter s as in sam s um hmm this person i don't know if they work for school or, um, I, but I am picking up for some, something with law. Also the name could, um, they're just saying a last name. They're saying Weissman, I think Weissman. All right. They just said that Weissman. Okay. Okay, Raziri. I just heard the last name, Raziri. <clears throat> so I have Weissman, Raziri. Oh, maybe it's a lawyer, law firm, Weissman, Weissman, and Raziri. I don't know. They just said Raziri. Okay. Um, we're also getting the letter M. Okay. And... I just heard the name Sandy. Okay. They just gave me the name Sandy. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy Beach, Sandy Hook, Sandy. All right, this is all for the new person. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, somebody lives, okay, they're giving me a place called Queensland, Queensland, or Queensland, Queensland, um, oh boy, okay, oh, and now they're saying United, em Ar United Arab Emirates? United Arab Emirates. Okay, initial C. This is the new person. We have a C. The letter C. Carrie? Okay. Well, um... <laughs> All right, they're giving me two years. They're giving me 1978 and 1993. Okay? 1978, 1993. And I'm also picking up Jensen. Okay. 1975.
Okay. And hmm, that's weird. Who does that? They just showed me somebody texting. And I don't know that people do this in a text, but they say P.S. You know, when somebody writes P.S. in a letter, the end of a letter, well, somebody does that in a text, or they will, or they have. Somebody says P.S. instead of saying, oh, by the way, or just giving the final text, they address it with a P.S. first. Could also be an initials P.S. All right, let's get information about this past person. What information can Virgo know about this past person? Okay, somebody's name is Joe, Joseph, um, Joe, Jolene, Joel. J it starts with a J O. Okay, and also somebody is from maybe South America or Spain. I'm just hearing. Okay, <clears throat> past person, okay, oh, Jose, they're just telling me, somebody's got really short brown hair, but it's kind of like a Harry Styles kind of cut, if you know who that is, okay, oh, letter H, I just heard Josh, or Joshua, okay, initial letter H, Picking up strong Libra vibes right now and Pisces. All right. Also, HAZ oh, has or ZA. That's weird. Not weird, but has or HAZA or HASAM. Okay. Also, Uh, there's an H in Arizona. Okay. We have C. Huh, okay. And they're just telling me C1. I don't know what that means. C1, the second person. All right. And then a letter G again. Um, we have September 4th, September 1st, September 8th, August 24th, and August 28th. Okay. <clears throat> We also have somebody's birthday is on the 6th. Somebody's in a wheelchair. Okay. And. Huh. Yeah, I'm picking up some Enter the Dragon Bruce Lee vibes there with those mirrors. <laughs> the fun house. For sure. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. I'm sure you have, but. I think it's Enter the Dragon, isn't it? That's the scene. <laughs> All right. You got a nice as, Virgo. Somebody thinks this past person thinks you have the best ASS <laughs> or AZZ. We also have area code 856. And they're giving me... Um, Hold on, hold on. We have three seven five uh two one zero five six one a lot of C's I'm hearing Zach. Okay. A lot of C's in this reading. Wow. Okay. An eight two four 
could be August 24th or 824. All right, let me get a charm and then I'm going to close your reading out <clears throat> for the night. I've been so super tired lately, you guys. So I'm just trying to get through these readings. Hope you'll understand. All right, we've got a ship's wheel. Okay. Okay, that's, I don't even know what that means. Two ship's wheels here. One's gold and one is silver. Um, hmm, two ships in the night, I'm just hearing. And um, Bermuda Triangle, they're telling me. Maybe somebody's going on a cruise somewhere near the B Bermuda Triangle. I know this is really dark. Sorry about that. It's because I'm recording it last minute at night. <coughs> so my apologies if you can't see, but I'm picking up a Bermuda Triangle. And maybe there's a cruise or a ship somebody's going on here. Oh, I'm dropping charms. And, okay. Also, yeah, somebody has a, do you wear a mood ring? Or somebody has a mood ring? And I'm also getting dying Easter eggs. Somebody does something with eggs, dyes eggs or creates beautiful eggs. There's a pink flower here. And that looks like um, Japan. This reminds me of a cherry blossom. Something to do with cherry blossoms. And also a pink star as well. Very pretty. Uh, there's something to do with Japanese or Japan in this reading. So I don't know if you're connecting with that in some way. And then we have a C with, like it's a little red. Um, I don't know if that's China. I think that's something to do with China. Okay, very interesting. I'm going to leave your reading there. I run, I've run out of energy, Virgo. So sorry. But yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. I have a special going for February where it's 15% off. So definitely check that out. Um, and also, yeah, if you want to follow me on Facebook, there's a link below. Actually, you guys have to tell you, I I know I go back and forth with the Facebook, right? I've had it for so long. And when I started my Facebook page, before I was doing real estate, I was in real estate. And the majority of the people on my Facebook, all my friends and followers and all are real estate people. So when I finally decided to use my Facebook for my YouTube channel, um, a lot of those people are just like, it's not their thing. You know what I mean? Um, but I didn't, like, I, I decided against real estate because when the pandemic hit, everything shut down. And I was like, ugh, I'm not going to do it. And, but now that I've been using my Facebook for um, my channel, eh, not much has really happened in there. Like, I'm so active here on YouTube. I'm not as active. So I've been creating reels, trying to have fun with it. But, um, eh. I, I do I to, to be honest with you like I, I don't want to lose it at the same time but it just it takes a lot of extra energy for me and I know I'm like oh you guys can follow me over there but you're all here so most likely I'm going to shut it down permanently because it just really serves no purpose for me it really is a waste of my time <laughs> really not to connect with all of you because we do connect here which is where you'll always find me but I'm just kind of like yeah you know so don't be surprised if one day you just, you're like, hey, what happened to Kelly's Facebook? It's gone. It'll be gone. I probably won't. I'm not that person that announces me leaving before I leave. And when I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> so I, I just go. So yeah, that, just a little something I wanted to share with you guys, because I know I've gone back and forth. I'm like, oh, I don't use it anymore. I dropped it. And then I had someone hacked into my stuff. And then finally, I got rid of that person. I, I knew who it was. And then I was just like, okay, everything's cool. I go back to using it. But I'm just like, eh, I don't know what it is. I must be like growing older and away from it. Like I just, it's not really interesting to me as much anymore. So maybe I'll just keep it up and I just won't even use it. Probably it'll come to that. So if you want to follow me, you can follow me. Like I said, the link's below. If not, you, you know where to find me. I'm always here. All right, you guys have a great night and I will see you all back here hopefully tomorrow. All right, take care.